subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Hi, my name is Joby McEnough. Subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary. Reggae Boys Commentary. Like, share and subscribe, please. I'm Javon Watson and you're watching Reggae Boys Commentary. Skin clean and nice and ting and ting. I'm Tiffany Kim. <laughs> I'm Tiffany Cannon, Ready Girl Striker, and you are watching the Regular Boys Commentary. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Yes, Regular Boys Commentary, like and subscribe, yeah? Oh. Regular Boys Commentary, like, share, and subscribe. Yeah. Regular Boys Commentary, <laughs> subscribe, like, and share. Is that the right order? Yeah. This video is brought to you by Maypen Educational Center, catering to evening CSEC classes and chess classes. Call 876-337-7374 or 876-775-6692. We got you covered preparing for exams. Andy Gone Nuts, 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts. Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471. Hello viewers, I'm Simon Preston and welcome back to Reggae Boys Commentary. Thank you so much for tuning in to another video on this channel. Really, really appreciate it. This is your hub for everything Jamaican football related your number one hub for everything Jamaican football. So, what is the deal? Now, everyone knows about my enthusiasm when it comes to defense. In terms of those centre-back options, we know about the situation that we currently have. Adrian Mariapa, the twilight of his career, still with something to offer, but at a different stage of his career path. Liam Moore, Ethan Pinnock, Indrus, next in line, the Damien Lowe's of this world, the Richard King's of this world. You can make an argument that Wes Harding can operate there as well, which he can. But what I ask you Reggae Boys fans to do right now is close your eyes right now. Close your eyes and let's go back to a day 10 years ago today. 10 years ago today. Jamaica defeats the United States for the first time ever at the senior level. Think about the defensive display by number 19 and also the number two, Adrian Joseph Mariapa and Nyron Nosworthy. Now open your eyes. Nyron Nosworthy, does that name ring a bell? Yes. I'm sure it does for many, as many will agree that in the last decade he has been Jamaica's best central defender. Did not put a foot wrong. And if it wasn't for injury in that match against Panama in 2013, he could have had a sustained run in, in the national setup even longer. It must be said, though, and we must credit that the experience that he had for Jamaica winning the Caribbean Cup, in 2014, he was part of that 2014 win, winning Caribbean Cup side with Jamaica. And in addition to that, he scored key goals for Jamaica, one in particular against Antigua and Barbuda, which helped Jamaica advance to the final round of World Cup qualifying. Had a decent spell with the likes of Gillingham, played in the Premier League with Sunderland, was at Sheffield United for a bit of time, played at Watford also, Bristol City, Blackpool, Portsmouth, and ended his career at Dagenham and Redbridge. And now I've told you about 
Naira Nosworthy, five foot ten. Now turn your attention to Anthony Kelvin Stewart. Anthony Kelvin Stewart, five foot ten, twenty nine years of age. Anthony Stewart, if you watch how he plays, is Naira Nosworthy, two point oh. Anthony Stewart is the second coming of Naira Nasworthy. In all seriousness, though, Anthony Stewart is an outstanding central defender. And I know people are going to say, well, what league does he play in? And all that jazz. I, I put it to you. Naira Nasworthy wasn't playing in the Premier League when he was called up for Jamaica. No, he wasn't. Naira Nasworthy was at loan at Watford. He was playing at Watford when he played for Jamaica. Yep, he was at Watford. And he was also at Bristol City in League One. And for some parts as well, he was at in League Two with Portsmouth during that time where Jamaica had that Caribbean Cup victory in November 2014. So we shouldn't watch the league of the player. Look at the ability. Anthony Stewart, when he was at Wickham Wanderers, he played League One and League Two with them. Went to Crew Alexandria on loan. Played League One. Came back to Wickham Wanderers from 2015 to 2022. Played League Two. Played League One. Played Championship. And now he's in the Scottish Premiership. It's a two year deal. And he's going to be the club captain. He's already had a number of games under his belt as well as captain this season. Nine games. And do you know where Aberdeen are right now in the Scottish Premiership? They're third. They're knocking on the door of the top two. So that is exactly where Anthony Stewart is. So what is the deal? Anthony Stewart wants to play for Jamaica. Anthony Stewart is keen to play for Jamaica. Anthony Stewart is in here, just like Naira Nasworthy. He will shed blood and sweat for Jamaica. He'll put his body on the line. And if you ask me, that's exactly the sort of character that we need, especially heading into the Gold Cup. Look, Think about this just for one moment. What has Jamaica done outside of six Caribbean Cup titles? What have we won? Two Gold Cup finals, two Gold Cup runners up. What has Jamaica won outside of six Caribbean Cup titles? The America's Cup in 2016, where the Caribbean Cup champion played against Copa America champion Chile. Okay. What have we won? If we want to be taken seriously within CONCACAF, if we want to be taken seriously across the globe, we have to win a regional title. Winning builds reputation. Winning builds confidence. Winning builds respect. And Anthony Stewart can add so much to that. Anthony Stewart wants to play for Jamaica. Reggae Boys fans, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe to Reggae Boys Commentary for more content. This video is brought to you by Maypen Educational Center, catering to evening CSEC classes and chess classes. Call 876-337-7374 or 876-775-6692. We got you covered preparing for exams. Andy Gone Nuts. 100% guaranteed fresh coconut water delivered straight to your door. Call 876-309-6128. That's 876-309-6128. Refreshing and affordable. For more information, follow them on Instagram at Andy Gone Nuts.
Mm, truly refreshing. And Crumble by Mrs. C. Old English fudge and other delectable sweet treats. Call or WhatsApp 876-586-0471. That's 876-586-0471.